From the Up Up Coast Studios in Oklahoma City, you're watching an OSU update with Gina Mizell. I'm Jenny Carlson. Gina, spring football, Todd Munkin, he's not maybe the most in the uh, crosshairs. Quarterbacks obviously are, but he's a quarterbacks coach. How much is he weighing into this decision that Oklahoma State has to make about its next quarterback? Well, I think this is an interesting spring for Todd Munkin and fall, really, when you, when you think about it, just because you know, the two main or two of the main question marks, I guess you could say, going into the season for, for the Cowboys really rest on his shoulders, whether it's, you know, picking and developing the quarterback and also helping rebuild that wide receiving core that lost so many players, Justin Blackman, obviously, most notably, but Josh Cooper, Hugh Redanium, Colton Shelf, the list goes on and on. So um, it'll be interesting to see, you know, just how he develops these guys, how he, you know, plays into that quarterback situation. And um, again, again, people talk about that, oh, this is Dana Holgerson's offense and Justin Blackman and Brandon Whedon were just running it on cruise control. Well, guess what? They're gone now. So, um, you know, just seeing how he now takes that spread and just continues to, to you know, put more tweaks into it and, and, you know, just kind of make it his own, I guess you could say. Well, let's talk a little bit more about that because the evolution of Todd Munkin as offensive coordinator, you know, last year it was a lot of him learning from the guys that were there from what they'd done in the past. Mm -hmm. How much was his a year ago and how much do you, you feel like his fingerprints are going to continue to be on this offense? Yeah, well, his fingerprints were definitely on it last year. Um, you know, he, he noted to, to me that if, if you look at 2010, um, they ran 40 more play action passes. And you could probably speak to that more than, than I could since I wasn't here in 2010. But um, it was more of a the, what he calls the quick game or even more of a tempo type style um, with this team last year. And they changed some routes, which, uh, you know, Munkin was new. Casey Dunn was new, the receivers coach. Um, you know, Jamal Singleton was new at running backs coach. So there were some new tweaks. And, and now I think we're going to see even more just with the personnel change. So, yes. Um, was it a little bit on cruise control because of Whedon and Blackman? Sure. sure. But and, and yes, is it the same, you know, base offense that we see at a place like Houston, at a place like Texas A and M now with with Sumlin there? But um, yeah, it's it's the same base package, but every system is gonna have its own tweaks. So that's kind of just like you said, the evolution of Todd Munkin and his uh, spread style, and so we'll we'll continue to see that uh, this coming year. Lastly, I think a lot of people before we saw Todd Munkin at work a year ago were worried OSU might go to some sort of power game. Right. But let's not <laughs> forget they've got some of the best running backs sure. in the league coming back. How do those guys, how do Joe Randall, uh, Jeremy Smith, how do those guys play into what we might see in the fall? I think that's probably the most common question I've gotten in the spring is just, you know, with this uh, un uncertainty at quarterback with so many new wide receivers coming in, how do they plan to use the running backs? Are they going to use them more? And I think, you know, my best answer at this point is it would be silly not to utilize some of your best weapons. I mean, Joe Randall is one of the best backs, not just in the Big 12, but I think in, in the country and one of the most kind of unsung heroes that you could say. And obviously Jeremy Smith is a great backup and even a youngster like Herschel Sims who didn't play a ton last year but was such a highly touted recruit. I think there are a lot of high expectations for him. So especially with Randall who is so versatile and can be such a force in the passing game, um, I think, you know, those guys will obviously play a huge role. And, and when you have a new quarterback that you're kind of slowly trying to break into a system, having those guys to fall back on is going to be great. But no, this isn't going to be a power running team. I think if I had a nickel for every time I heard, we're going to run our offense, I would have a lot of nickels. So, <laughs> so, so we're not going to see some, you know, massive change. Todd Munkin believes in the spread. He yeah. believes that's the way to go. And so that's, you know, what I expect to see from the Cowboys in 2012. All right. Thanks, Gina. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.